Hi guys, here in this lecture we are going to discuss practice problems on 18 electron rule which is one of the very important topic for various competitive examinations on chemistry. Okay, in the previous lecture we have discussed the complete information about 18 electron rule. Now we are going to practice it with different uh, uh, examples of compounds. Okay, right and here we know that whenever the given compound attains 18 valency electrons then it is stable so how we can take uh, those or uh, how we can consider those 18 valency electrons by just taking the sum of valency electrons of metal and the contribution of valency electrons of ligands okay right and if the compound attains 18 valency electrons it is considered as stable compound right and if the compound is having more than 18 valency electrons or less than 18 valency electrons then we can say it is unstable according to 18 electron rule and that compound wants to get stability by just uh, taking extra ligand coordinations okay extra ligand coordinations if it is having fewer number of coordination on that metal okay in that compound and it is ready to get dimerization that is metal to metal bond formation takes place and by that it is going to get uh, uh, 18 electrons okay right and now we are going to consider some uh, examples to apply 18 electron rule by which we are going to determine the given complex is it a stable or not okay right now just take the example first one here i'm going to take h mn okay so here i'm just taking example as co5 okay now here we have two electron counting method to determine 18 or uh, to apply 18 electron rule in that one is acceleration state method okay and next one is neutral atom method so in uh, whenever we observe the total electro valency electron compound and compound separately by acceleration state method or through the neutral atom method it gives the same result okay almost same result now just check it for example if we are going to find the total valency electrons on the given compound through the acceleration state method first thing is we need to look at acceleration state of metal in the given complex so here we need to find acceleration state of manganese here so just consider it as x and we know that hydrogen here is considered as hydride that's why it is having minus one okay which is having minus one and then we know that co is neutral just take it as zero and it is equal to zero because there is no uh, net charge on it okay so from that we can say x is equal to plus one so manganese is in plus one acceleration state okay so here mn plus one we know that manganese is having the valency electrons as 3d5 4s2 so total seven valency electrons are there in magnus plus one it is equals to six electrons okay now hydride so here hydrogen it should be considered as hydride so here we have only one hydride that's why it is contributing two electrons uh, through the acceleration state method electron count method now here we have five CO ligands we know that and just remember CO contribute two electrons in acceleration state method at the same time in neutral atom method okay so from that we can give here 10 electrons so total 18 electrons we have just given for the given complex through the acceleration method now just come to the neutral atom method just check it here in neutral atom method we need to find each and every atom in that compound should be considered as neutral okay right here we have uh, high, uh, manganese should be considered as neutral so it contributes seven valency electrons and uh, here hydrogen considered as neutral so contributing one electron and uh, five 
CO contributing 10 electrons so total 18 electrons okay now just check both the methods electronic counting methods are giving the same result here and the given complex is 18 electron complex so it is stable according to 18 electron rule okay right now just take another example here I am just taking another example on uh, rhodium okay so which is having chlorine as ligand and hydrogen so neta 2 and c2h4 and triphenyl pospene as two ligands okay now just count uh, the total electronic count through the acceleration state method and neutral atom method so first thing is we need to find the acceleration state of metal if we are going to find the total electronic count through acceleration state method consider it as x and we know that chlorine is having minus one charge and it is, it is uh, only one uh, ligand is there that's why minus one and always hydrogen is considered as hydride here we have two of them that's why minus two okay and the neta two is considered as zero and the triphenyl pospin is also considered as zero that means it is neutral and there is no net charge on the given compound that will be equals to zero so from that x equals two plus three so rhodium is in plus three acceleration state and just remember that whenever we have hapticity as in even number that is neta 2 neta 4 neta 6 like that in that case so the net charge of uh, that particular will be zero that's why in acceleration state method and in neutral method it will give same electron contribution okay just keep this point uh, in your mind now if uh, hapticity value is like neta 1 neta 3 neta 5 in that case uh, here simply they contribute uh, uh, for example if it is if it is neta 1 in acceleration state method it contribute two electron because it is having negative charge just remember that okay if it is neta 3 in acceleration state method it contribute four electrons because it is having minus one charge in neta 5 it contributes six electrons because it, it is having minus one charge in acceleration state method but in neutral method simply it contributes one three five respectively okay so just to keep these points in your mind now just count the so total electrons here because here rhodium is in plus three acceleration state and we know that rhodium belongs to uh, simply cobalt uh, group here okay so here it should be nine electrons but it is in plus three acceleration store uh, state that's why rhodium plus three contribute only six electrons okay right now just look at another uh, ligands here chlorine as cl minus contributing two electrons and hydrogen as hydride contributing four electrons and neta 2 c2h4 contributing two electrons and we know that triphenyl phosphine contributing two electrons and here we have two ligands so total four electrons now just count them it equals to 18 electrons okay now just come to neutral atom method so here in neutral atom method we need to consider each and every uh, single atom as neutral one that's why here rhodium contributing nine electrons okay and the chlorine contributing one electron and the two hydrogens are contributing two electrons and the neta two contributing simply two electrons and the two of uh, two triphenyl phosphine ligands contributing four electrons and it equals to 18 electrons so uh, both the methods are giving the same result and the complex is stable because it is simply following uh, 18 electron rule okay right now just check another example so here i'm just taking with co5 efe okay and which is coordinated with buta cis buta diene okay now just count through the acceleration state method so here we have uh, iron is coordinated with five co ligands one cis buta diene okay right now just observe this is uh, butadiene so here it is contributing four pi electrons okay so it is even number that's why the charge is considered as zero for it and we know that co is also neutral ligand and it contributes zero charge on it so simply here 
oxidation state and neutral atom method will be equal for the given complex. Okay, in that case, uh, here uh, 5 CO contribute 10 electrons. Okay, and uh, 1 iron contributing because it is in zero oxidation state, contributing simply 8 electrons. Okay, and uh, then we have uh, 2 of them that means uh, 4 electrons from this cis pyridiene. Okay, so it is contributing 4 electrons. So total 22 electrons and it is unstable compound. Okay, so like this, we are going to apply different combinations of examples. Right, now just